it's your girl Tia. Um, <clears throat> I'm just coming with a really quick video. Um, I had a really long day, and um, you guys know that I started my step therapy theory uh series, and it has been hectic. I do want to let you guys know it get worse before it get better. Like when you guys are actually taking the time to better yourself, you're taking the time to relax, to to detox, to de stress, and everything else that you do. It gives you time to think about the stuff that really matter. You are no longer distracting yourself. You're now getting to know yourself. And when you get to know the things that are deep down inside, sometimes it can cause confusion. And sometimes it can cause chaos. And sometimes it can take you back to places where you've purposely forgotten to ignore the trauma. And for me, um, that has happened. And this, this is about the second or the, the third week of my self-therapy. I'm honestly, I'm not sure. But I kind of had like sort of a panic attack yesterday and um, just lightheaded, whatever the case may be. So I took the opportunity to go to the hospital and um, get checked up on everything, whatever the case may be. And um, everything seemed to be fine, but the doctor did say, okay, there's there's a lot of anxiety that I'm going through. And he put that on my um, paperwork as well as um, I had migraines. Like right now, I feel a bit lightheaded. And, um, and also, what was it? Just migraines, anxiety, and um, shortness of breath or dehydration. It was actually dehydration. So I need to hydrate more, drink more water, whatever the case may be. But I am dealing with anxiety. And anxiety is sometimes a side effect of depression. And um, I know that I've been experiencing a lot of stress and a lot of uh, just a lot of, you know, like, oh, man, this stuff is coming back up. So um, today I actually took the opportunity to get a lot done with my car. I um, I got my car serviced as far as my oil changed and everything. Got it washed and I got it cleaned on the inside. And I'm um, in the midst of it. Um, I was planning to just go to the movies by myself and um, just take time for me. And there's a new movie out called War Room, which is basically a Christian music movie from my understanding. So I'm going to go ahead and check that movie out. Um, a guy from the car wash was just joking around with me. We were conversing, and I mentioned that I was going to the movies. He was like, oh, you must be going with your guy friend. And I was like, no, yeah, I'm going alone. Um, you shouldn't just wait till you are in a relationship to take yourself out and he offered to come um he actually gave my gave me his number and i realized a lot of time as women and especially christian women we have these standards and we get a bit rough and tough and we get mean and we say god well i want a husband but you're looking at everybody else's relationship and you don't know how they got it you don't know if they met their husband through the guy in the car watch you don't know if they met their husband from that guy that you are so eager to to decline because you didn't meet them in church and a lot of the men that you meet in church are like crappy they're not ready for marriage they'll be in a relationship for years unless they're actually doing it the way that the church want them to do it unless you guys are actually um talking with ministers and stuff that's there's a possibility your relationship just may be bad as somebody's relationship in the world and um i'm actually not going to let him come to the movies with me i'm going to contact him but um i decided that i want to go to the movies by myself because i feel like i need to shower myself enjoy myself but i also need to not always do stuff just because i'm doing it with a man so i'm about to um i just made it home i'm about to go take a shower fix up my hair probably put on a little eyeshadow or lipstick whatever dress up go to the movies and after that i'm going to probably come home and change and head to work because it is so easy for us to be stressed out but it's like when are you going to take time to take care of you when are you going to take time to live your life you know, I suggest you guys go out, live your life, and take yourself out to the movie. Do things with yourself. And even when the opportunity comes to allow someone else to come, say, I really appreciate your offer, but I want to do this by myself. I think it will be really nice for me to just treat me, to laugh as loud as I want to, to do whatever you want to do, to cry if you want to in a the theater, do something for you. So, guys, I'm about to go ahead and do those things. I just got home, so I'm about to take that shower, and I'm about to... Fix up my hair and I'll probably come back with a video um, before the movies or maybe after the movies. Or maybe I'll just put all three of the videos together and label them. But whatever I decide to do, you guys will be hearing back from me again with my fight of consistency. Because it gets really difficult to consistently do the videos day to day no matter how much I like countdowns or countups or 
series so please bear with me guys but i am going to continue to be with you ma'am i am going to continue to post videos um and i'm going to post this one without an edit because i realize when i don't edit my videos i'm more likely to post them so you guys will be hearing more from me and i will give you also a review of the movie war room so if anybody watched this recently or right after you guys will be able to to go out and see that or if it's later on that you guys go out and buy it but I'm really excited and I only have about 40 minutes before the movie starts so I'll talk to you guys soon thank you so much for listening to me and my babbling and checking out my channel and watching my videos I really do appreciate it but more than anything I hope that you guys be blessed by it because that's why I'm here so thank you so much and hope to hear from you guys soon bye